Welcome to Career Solutions with David Rawls, your guide to improving the quality of your career. David will share tips for career success, faith-based tips for locating, landing jobs, and succeeding at your work. Join your host, David Rawls, who brings more than 30 years' experience working for GTE and Disney as he helps you with your career solutions. Well, hello, and thanks for joining me again today. I'm here to help you while you're finding a job God's way. Uh, The mission of our ministry, Career Solutions, is to help men and women locate, land, and succeed in their careers. Today's program is dedicated to the latter of those three, to help you succeed in your career, to define and design that dream job or jobs, and then to attend to making that dream come true. Perhaps the single greatest thing that my guest and I have in common is the unwavering belief that we can and should find our dream job and our dream future. Uh, My career started long ago at the Disney Company, and Walt Disney was often quoted as saying, if you can dream it, you can do it. I believed him then, and I believe him even more these 45 years after his death. To discuss you having your dream job as part of your dream future is author and speaker Mary Malloy. Uh, Mary sold computers and software early in her career, moved into sales training. Uh, She then co-founded TRB Consulting Group, where she is now the managing partner. Uh, Mary co-authored a book, The Buck Stops Here. And uh, this year, Mary has published uh, yet again another book entitled Design Your Own Destiny, Life Planning for the 21st Century. I'd like to welcome my new friend uh, and ally, I'd like to thank, uh, Mary Malloy. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining me today. David, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. Uh, Well, I I want you to know that uh, when I first saw your book, Design Your Own Destiny, uh, obviously the the title just sort of brought me right in, uh, as you and I have discussed uh, before uh, before today's program. Uh, there, there is a, a synergy. There is a commonality between many of the things that you and I think, many of the things that we say, and many of the things that we write about. Uh, and um, while I'm not always looking for people that just agree with me, and I'm sure you aren't either, I, I did want to talk about this uh, important subject about designing one's own future. Uh, because there are so many people that are stuck out there. There are so many people. Uh, you know, the last uh, survey I saw, Mary, it said that um, uh, somewhere between 75 and 80 percent of working Americans are unhappy in their work. Yeah. And, and I don't believe God intends that to be the case. No, no, I think God wants us to be happy. I think we we very much want ourselves to be happy, but sometimes we're not sure what happiness means for ourselves. That's true. Uh, we haven't really sat down to... to uh, to 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 define it and 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 put some some meat on the bones. What do you say to people who say they want to succeed, but they don't have a career or a life dream? They really don't have an idea of what what uh, long term success even means to them. They they haven't defined it for themselves. What do you say to these people? I, I'd say to them, yes, but I bet you you have dreams. And I bet you that if we started narrowing down what your talents and what your joys are in life, and we started looking at who you are as a person, and we started thinking about what your dreams are and what you dream of doing, I bet you that you do have all of those things, talents, you have joys in life, and you have dreams, and that's the basis for a good life plan. Uh, Amen. Uh, um, uh, Let's just take a moment, uh, a quick diversion into Mary's uh, early dreams. What were what were some of your early dreams that uh, that have manifest themselves over uh, uh, the 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 years now that you've been working? Uh, What what are some of those dreams that have come true for you? Oh, I always dreamt of running my own business, and I am. Yes. Dreamt of living in the mountains of New Hampshire, and I am. I'm actually speaking to you right now from the White Mountains in the northern part of New Hampshire, and it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. So those, that, those were always my dreams. I wanted to travel. I've worked with 11,000 people in 39 countries. So I've, I've fulfilled a lot of the things that I've had dreams for. Wow. I've, 
Well, uh, uh, that, that's wonderful. Well, we're, we're certainly going to give you credit for the credentials to be uh, to be talking about this. Uh, obviously, it's important that people decide on and clearly articulate where they hope to be um, and, and what they hope to do. Uh, how does that take shape for someone? Uh, you're, you're consulting me, and, and obviously I've got some dreams, and I can tell you about my dreams. Uh, what, 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 what do I do first? Okay, so, so first you take stock of inventory. Anybody that's going to run a company, they've got inventory. You're your inventory. You're the business. So let's look at you and let's look at the talents that you have. God gave you talents. Nobody was not born. Every human being has talents. So first let's look at your talents, but then let's look at what gives you joy. Because sometimes people are talented, but it doesn't give them joy, which is strange but true. So we match the talents and joys in life. Then what we do is we actually have you draw your dreams. Now, this is a very powerful exercise. You know, Mary, i got to just interrupt you. When I saw that in the book, i got to tell you this. Uh, I used to actually, uh, I was first exposed to this when I was 22 years old, and I actually used to teach in some of my early seminars, uh, 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 not the same way you come at it, but drawing pictures of where you want to be, drawing pictures of your dreams, drawing pictures of your future. And I'd give everybody uh, uh, big pieces of construction paper and a box of crayons. <laughs> and, and there's only two rules. One, it's got to be in color, because yep. light is in color. Yep. And the other rule is that you have to be in the picture, and God honors stick figures. <laughs> God doesn't care if you can't draw beautifully. That's right. So it's really the picture in your mind that you're trying to uh, capture uh, for purposes. You're trying to get that on paper so that you're constantly reminded of that picture in your mind. Absolutely. Yeah. And then once you have the picture, then it's a map. Because life is a map. It's a map. You wouldn't, you wouldn't just, you, you guys are in Texas, you wouldn't just point your car west and start driving. You, you could end up in California, you could end up in Mexico, you could end up in Canada. What you want to do is you want to pick a destination and then map it out. I want to end up in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. <laughs> Come visit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how, how do we each impact uh, our, our future success? So we, we've got the map out there. Now, how, do, how does that then translate into... Uh, how does that translate? I mean, how does that happen? It's, it's got to be more than just drawing a picture of it. Oh, no, yes. You're, you're putting actions in place, and things don't always happen as you expect them to. I mean, this is life. And so we can put something down on paper, but it doesn't mean that we, we're going to get what we want all the time. Right. So as, we're ste- so as you're stepping forward in your map, what you're doing is you're looking at where you are. You're saying, am I on target? Am I off target? How much am I off target by? You know, when, we're, when they're flying a plane, um, they're, they're basically off target by quite a bit. They're ultimately getting you to the destination, but they're constantly auto-correcting. That's what we're doing in our lives is we're keeping our, our eye on the ball on where we want to go. And then if something happens that doesn't want to that, that takes you off course, assess it, because maybe God's putting that in your path for a reason. <laughs> maybe you're supposed to go there, and maybe it's better than what you had in your dream. So you're looking, you're looking, and you're saying, you know, where am I, and, and what am I doing? And it's being conscious and intentional. Yeah. Uh, any any uh, live examples of people you've coached or, or, or people that have given you testimonies of, about how this actually uh, worked in their, in their Ab- career success journey? I started, this methodology was actually created because I was asked to speak to 25 homeless women in Manchester, New Hampshire. And I went in and spoke to the 25 women and ultimately ended up doing life plans for eight of the women. Within six months, five of the eight women were no longer homeless. Now, this is amazing because this methodology is so powerful that people that are homeless are no longer homeless by following the process. It works. But again, it's down to desire. Those three that didn't achieve it, it's it's sometimes down to it could be luck, but it's also sometimes desire. So as we're talking about this, obviously there are several components that have to come together. Number one, you've got to you've got to sort of ex, explore and express your dreams. You've got to take some kind of an inventory of what it is you bring to the party, uh, both physically, mentally, experientially, uh, what's in your heart, and so forth. Uh, your talents, as you I- I indicated, and then it's a, then it's about uh, building uh, some kind of plans. Now, you you reference this, but I want to make sure I nail this on, uh, real hard on the ground. Uh, you talked about plans as if they are something that's actually written down. Talk about that for a second. Absolutely. 
Um, it's almost like um, um, uh, my husband is Irish, and they, uh, my Michael, uh, my husband died, and I'm, and they always used to say, "From your mouth to God's ears." <laughs> You're saying something. You want God to hear it. Put it on paper. Put it on paper. It's it locks it in place. It makes it come real. So when the plan gets written down, it's, I tell my people when I go into a life plan with them, I tell them to sign their names because this is their contract with God. Amen. That is a great way to express it. One of the things that many of my listeners have heard me say more than once on this program is, to me, it's not a plan until it's written down. A plan that's rolling around up in your head is nothing more than a good intention, and most of those never occur. And most of those never come to fruition, but it's about getting the plans on paper, the milestones. Uh, we might metaphorically use different metaphors, but uh, I'm sure you saw in my book because you said you read it. Uh, uh, we talk about the same thing. It is a journey, and it's about getting from point A to point B to point C to to, uh, to, to whatever that last point is, whatever that dream uh, uh, is. And and you've got to have you've got to have you've got to have something written down to know whether or not you're on track. Absolutely, and then you're measuring. Assess where you are. Assess where you are, and then and then take other corrective actions. You know, as I said, getting into a plane and flying to a place, they're constantly auto-correcting to get from here to there. Yeah, that's great. Uh, uh, so, some of the biggest mistakes you see from people who uh, who uh, want to be successful, have dreams, and, and don't. Uh, uh, lay, lay some faux pas on me. Okay, faux pas. Not measuring. Okay. I've had plenty of people that have uh, actually con- concluded and actually... Cr- created their life plan, gotten their dream, and never realized it, honestly. But when we go back to their picture, we say, you did it. Oh, my gosh, I did. Oh, my gosh, I did. So one is measure. The other, uh, faux pas, not writing it down. I'm right there with you. The third, calling on God to help you in making this happen, Um, pulling things from higher than you, from above you, into your life to get assistance to make things uh, happen in life. Another mistake, people don't always do that. And then the last one is not assessing their own balance on a daily basis. Am I in balance? Am I out of balance? How do I bring myself back to balance? Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that is that's great, a great summary. If you've just tuned in, this is Career Solutions with David Rawls. That's me. And I'm uh, with my guest today, author of Design Your Own Destiny, Miss Mary Malloy. And uh, Mary, uh, so many wonderful things uh, come out of the book as I, as I read through it. Uh, uh, author Stedman Graham says about you, Mary's process is practical and effective. Uh, summarize uh, uh, again uh, uh, for our listeners what your process is and tell us why it works. Okay. Um, I'm a very logical thinker. Um, So the process is a very logical process that progresses you from A to B. It progresses you from where you are right now to where you might want to go, and it helps you to assess for yourself where you want to go. So what's the process? You first start with balance. You determine whether you're in or out of balance. If you're out of balance, determine how to bring yourself back to balance. And I have a very logical scale on how to determine if you're out of balance or in balance and then how to counterbalance to bring yourself back to balance. You, you cover that very, very well, by the way, right at the beginning of the book. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, then, then, then we have a discussion of your talents and your joys in life so that you're doing an inventory of yourself. What makes me happy? What am I good at? Then I look at your statements that you make about yourself. I want to know where your self-talk is. We have you draw your dreams, and then let's say you have a lot of choices open to you, because this is true for us, many of us in our lives. We can do this or this or this. I give a life choice assessment tool, which based on your values, you plug in your values, and it will tell you which direction to go in. Very cool. Very cool, because it helps people to determine, where should I go? I have so many choices open to me. And then last is we're building the roadmap. We're building the map to get you from here to there and measuring along the way. Okay. Now, uh, here's uh, I'm going to share with you a couple of challenging difficulties that, that I face and others that I've counseled face. Uh, 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 let's first talk about this thing called balance that uh, so many people use, particularly in the Christian community. Uh, we we talk about having balance between our faith and our family and our finances and, 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 and so on and so on. Um, 
I, this is something I've struggled with my entire. I'm, I'm I'm a Type A personality. Uh, I, there's a lot of things I want to accomplish, uh, and uh, I, I'm always trying to cram three pounds into a two pound can. So obviously things get out of balance on a regular basis. Uh, what 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 do people need to do? You know, I, I I assess that I'm out of balance, but sometimes I say to myself, self, I just don't know how to get into balance. I don't know. I, I still want to do all those things I'm trying to do, and I can't possibly stay in balance while I'm trying to do all these things. But but I'm 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 I'm, I'm in this self talk struggle with myself. Uh, help me get, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you've heard that old expression, getting your undies in a bunch. Well, mine are all bunched up here, and, and I'm really stuck uh, trying to uh, keep balance uh, in, in place. Help me. Okay. So, so, so what I would do is if I was sitting down with you, I'd be asking you, okay, so are you out of balance in your mind? You're using your mind too much? I'd be asking you, are you thinking too much so that really you're just not able to get a break from yourself? Um, so, <laughs> I'm sure that's part of the problem. Okay. I'd be asking you, are you out of balance in your material world or your physical world? You're trying to cram too many things, too many physical activities, so you're exhausting yourself. <laughs> so I'd be asking yourself, is there something you need to take off your plate? Because it's really just taking too much time or too much energy or too much attention. I'd be asking you, how are you doing emotionally? Um, uh, what's happening as a result of this? And uh, can you counterbalance? And can you use God or spirit to help bring yourself back into balance? Because in truth, God is the best way to counterbalance some of the things that are going on in people's lives. Mm need to go into balance, using spirit, using God, is one of the absolute best ways to bring yourself back into balance. Okay. Uh, 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 the, 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 you mentioned this self-talk thing. I know that that's one of my struggles, and and uh, you just mentioned in the, the, the expression you used, um, I, I can see right now I need to spend some time in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. <laughs> Uh, with uh, Mary Malloy, uh, the, the this this notion of self talk, I, I do need to get away from myself, and I don't know how to get away from myself. Uh, um, uh, e- even when I try and get off by myself, I don't get away from myself. Uh, e- even even when I'm involved in leisure time activities and 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 diversions from from the work of the ministry. I find myself continually going back and thinking of all the things that need to be done, and 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 I've I've said so many times, uh, you know, I, I wake up at three, four, or five in the morning with uh, with my to do list uh, uh, list blazoned emblazoned across my mind. Uh, help me, help me, Mary. I need to get out of this self talk and get away from me. Okay. So, so part of uh, so one of the things I'd be saying to you or asking you is, are you doing any kind of physical activity or physical uh, uh, physical exercise to help you get out of your head? Not enough. Okay, that's one way to get out. Thank you. That's great. The other one, Tai Chi yoga. There, there, there are spiritual practices that tie you in with God. They really do. They tie you into a place higher than you. Yet they're a physical activity, and they can bring you in alignment with who you are. They can bring you in alignment with God, something higher than you. They can bring you there. They're very excellent. Journaling is an excellent way of doing it. Writing down and expressing what's going on. A, a, an easy one, if you're waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning constantly with your to-do list, keep a small pad of paper by the side of your bed. Honestly, write down whatever the to-do list is and throw the paper on the floor. You may wake up in the morning with 20 pieces of paper. That's okay, because guess what? Sort it, prioritize it, and it is now your to-do list. Yeah. And only take the top ones. Okay, that's great Great advice. Uh, uh, do you find, is there, is there certain types of people, certain types of individuals uh, that are just going to have trouble reaching their dreams? Uh, I mean, uh, I, I, I don't want to be a naysayer, and I don't want to uh, encourage anybody to give up on this, because I believe uh, that uh, dreams are possible for all of us. Uh, but there are, are there certain types of us that are just going to struggle uh, uh, almost to the point of of uh, uh, driving ourselves nuts trying to achieve something because of the personality type that we might be? You know, David, it depends on whether the person's putting intense amounts of pressure on themselves. But, you know, when you, when you ask somebody about what gives them joy in life and you can see it light up in their face, 
and it's uh, the spirit of them is just coming out because you're seeing that alignment and that beauty in their face, and you can just see the light coming out of them. That's that's what they're building. That's what they're so so the joy is there. Um, that, that makes them happy. So it's okay. And guess what? Whatever they achieve is wonderful. It's wonderful in God's eyes. It's, you know what? It's like we don't measure up for ourselves, but we measure up to God, but we don't measure up to us. Uh, we're hard. We're hard to judge on ourselves <laughs> many times than God is on us. Boy, you got that true. I, I, I don't know how you know so much about me, Mary, but you're a pretty smart lady. <laughs> <laughs> what, what What are some of the uh, other mistakes that we may make in, in the in the whole planning and achieving of of our successes? Uh, uh, whether it's uh, choices in careers, choices in employers for our careers. Uh, uh, or, or, or non-career kinds of things. What are what are some things? Uh, uh, let me just throw one out as as an example. I think that there are many many people that want to achieve success, uh, but sometimes they're not willing to do the spade work, the the, the preparation necessary. You know, I want to be an executive of finance, but they're maybe not willing to go back to school to get that additional education or 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 take on that uh, tough assignment, which will. Uh, you know, uh, prepare their metal for such a a, a, a kind of job. Uh, uh, things that you notice that uh, uh, that are just um, th- th- it, it causes people to work against themselves. Well, of course, you have to have you have to have the as I said, inventory to be able to even enter the game. Yeah. So what is that? That's the education. It's the it's the ability to communicate. It's appearance. Uh, reality. We are we are human beings. And uh, people assess you within the first five seconds of seeing you. They just do. How do you speak? How do you look? How do you dress? I mean, seriously, that's all part of the inventory. Then it's up against your values. What is important to you? And what is it that you want to do? Now, let's say I was, I was uh, doing a, a career counseling on an individual who said that they wanted to be a vice president of a high-tech company. Understand what that takes. Understand that, that what that means, because everything has a trade-off and everything has a cost. That will cost you. It will cost you in terms of time with your family. Very likely it will. It, will, it may cost you in terms of uh, your efforts, how hard you're going to have to work. If you have that dream, you can make it happen, but there are trade-offs. Understand the trade-offs and make sure that you're willing to pay the price. Mm, great, great advice. Uh, I, I want to thank uh, uh, Mary Malloy, our, our guest today. Uh, Mary, I wish you success in your journey. If anybody wants uh, Mary's uh, book, if you'd like to get a copy of uh, the book that I've been referencing throughout this interview, uh, uh, the author, Mary A. Malloy, that's spelled M O L L O Y. And you can get her book at Amazon.com or you can go to her website, which is Mary a m o l l o y dot com mary a molloy dot com and she's got some other resources available that can help you with designing your own destiny uh, uh mary take just a, a half a minute if you would and, and and describe some of those other resources that are available there yes absolutely well anybody can come onto my website and they can um take a life balance self-help test to see whether you're in balance or out of balance this, uh, this test was created with a psychiatrist. It's an outstanding test. You can download a free sample life plan so you can see what a, a sample life plan looks like. You can download a free sample business plan if you're a business person and you want to look at a, a solid business plan. Also, um, what we're offering on my life plan is giving the gift of me, no kidding, a little mini life plan. Um, if you're struggling with uh, uh, giving a, a gift to somebody for Christmas, uh, consider a little mini life plan for them. Very good. Well, I want to thank you, Mary, for joining me. Will you come back and we'll do another show? I would love it. I, I, uh, okay, we're, we're going to do that. And, and meanwhile, I'm going to be looking for a place on my calendar to get up to the White Mountains. Oh, you'll love it. Come in July. <laughs> thank you so much. God bless you and continued success in your journey. Thank you so much. Take care. That's been uh, Mary Malloy, uh, author of Design Your Own Destiny, Life planning for the 21st century. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful uh, lady she is. Our, our word for today uh, actually uh, aligns nicely with our conversation. Uh, it comes out of Proverbs 21, verse 30. There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed, can succeed against the Lord. Uh, today we discussed our life dreams and our life dream jobs. 
and, and fortunately, in uh, Mary's writing, she identifies the need for a spiritual foundation for one's success. Uh, no matter what else we do, no matter how many skills and gifts we possess, our career dreams will not manifest in a truly meaningful way without our Lord being part of the plan. Uh, being at the heart of one's plan is where God desires to be. The Lord is uh, likely far more interested in a close relationship with each of us than our search for fame or fortune, of course. But I believe God will bless our lives and our professions when he is a part of our lives and part of our plans. Take God along on your glorious journey, and may God bless you until next time. I'll be praying that you're finding a job God's way. You've been listening to Career Solutions with David Rawls, broadcasting on this station every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon. For more information on the Career Solutions ministry, log on to our website, www.careersolutionsworkshop.org. If your church is interested in having its own job seeker ministry, contact David online at www.careersolutionsworkshop.org. We want to help everyone locate, land, and succeed in their career. Join us again next time for Career Solutions. Solutions.